From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your morning update. Your weekend weather update is made possible by Caltrans District 2. Hey folks, good morning. Hope you enjoyed your day yesterday. Today, looking kind of similar, but we do have some shower chances in Humboldt and Trinity County over the next couple hours. That's worth talking about. Now, for most of us, I think we actually have a pretty decent day in Store Valley. Down there in Redding towards Chico, we're going to stay in the lower to mid-60s. They're mostly dry conditions. This good Modoc County, similar situation there. And of course, out towards the East Mountains, we got those 40s and those upper elevations with mostly dry conditions as well. But as you head closer to the coast, I think as we head over the next couple hours, like I said, few showers are possible. Those are going to fade away really quickly, but it's kind of the first signs of trouble, especially as we head through tomorrow and Tuesday with widespread 60s for today. And again, mostly dry conditions after midday. Notice the showers really don't linger very long. So yeah, by this afternoon, after uh, we're heading towards 12 to 4 o'clock, that time frame will be just fine there. But uh, on the future cast, you'll see what I'm talking about. First signs of life here across the area, right? That's going to be lifting north, though, and I don't think it's going to be a huge issue. Like I said, I think most of us are going to stay pretty much dry for today. But as we head through tonight and into tomorrow, boom, this big old mass of rain is creeping into the north state here. And I think by tomorrow, all bets are off. We're seeing that widespread rain there. We're going to see some maybe even batches of thunder mixed in the batch. But uh, to be honest with you, I don't think that's going to be a big deal. Snow level is probably somewhere in the vicinity of about 6,000 feet there. So I think by the time you're heading towards Mount Shasta City, you're going to see mostly rain. Alturas, you might see a mix out there. But most of our population centers are just going to see rain, really, for lack of a better word. That's just going to be how it is. You can see there kind of becomes a little more isolated cellular type. So like I said, we might see a few pop-up areas of thunder. But I think more than anything else, the rain tolls are kind of the main story here. We're talking widespread two to three inches through Monday and Tuesday. Then as we head towards Wednesday, that system kind of spins itself off to death south and west of us off the coast. And then we actually have a pretty decent end to our work week. But Monday and Tuesday and Frankly, even the early hours of this morning are kind of the sign of the times, right, with that precipitation lingering across the area. But in the meantime, I don't see really much in the way of trouble until at least next weekend. Then I'm watching this system as we head towards Sunday and Monday, which might be closer to Christmas. So I'll keep an eye on that, see what we have in store as we're heading towards Christmas. Maybe some precipitation, who knows, but it's about eight days out, nine days out. We'll get there when we get there that much is for sure. As for the snow totals, you can see really not much there because, like I said, for tonight, we're not going to be seeing those rain chances really be anything but that. We're just seeing some scattered showers, but then we pick up the rain totals. Then we pick up those snow totals Monday and Tuesday, especially above 6,000 feet. All right, forecast highs for today, mm, kind of similar to today, much more though, uh, kind of cool, right? We're not seeing those upper 60s, we're seeing more so those mid 60s. We're seeing, you know, 64 there up in Del Norte County, then as you head south into Humboldt County, similar situation there. Very similar situation in the valley as well, those mid 60s kind of be in the upper bound of those temperatures, and then you head out towards Siskiyou County with those mid to upper 40s near 50. Modoc County, similar situation there, 54 in Alturas, down at 54 as well, and then of course out towards the East Mountains, we're probably going to be talking 40s for your daytime high. Tomorrow, though, much less favorable conditions. All right, if we take a look at the big picture, see what I'm talking about. Snow level 6,000 feet, widespread rain tomorrow and Tuesday. Ending Wednesday, I think early Wednesday, you can I rule out a shower? No, I can't rule that out, right? But I think Monday and Tuesday, that's going to be the big rainmakers. Widespread two to three, maybe four inches of rain at times in spots across the area. Alturas, mostly rain. Can I rule out the possibility of a little bit of a mixture? No, but like I said, I think most of our population centers are going to see rain Monday and into Tuesday. Nice end to our week, though. Looks like we get back to some clearer conditions with the possibility of another system brewing by the end of the weekend. But we at least have a couple days of a little bit of a break as we head past this system Monday and Tuesday. Similar situation in the valley where we might pick up a couple inches of rain there as well. Widespread mid 50s lasting as this system sticks around and is a main weather maker across the area and then along the coast. Well, I think that's whenever the rain chances begin the earliest, especially in Humboldt County and Trinity County. I think we have those chances of showers, especially late tonight and into early tomorrow morning there. And even still, like I said, we saw some showers kind of lingering across the area over the last couple hours as well. But much like the rest of us, Monday and Tuesday is the day to watch. Otherwise, though, like I said, don't focus too much on the rain if you're not a fan of the rain, which, you know, to be honest with you, I am. But hey, look towards Wednesday, look towards Thursday, look towards the end of the week where we get back into those upper 50s with mostly clear conditions sticking around as the system spins itself off to death off the coast and dries us out towards the end of this next work week. Thanks for watching this forecast update. I'll be back with you later this afternoon for more. Stay safe out there.